Hey kids, my name is Miss White and today I'm super excited because I get to teach you guys how to make your very own underwater world. Now I bet you guys can think of a lot of things that are, go underwater, like the creatures, the fishes, the coral, the sand, what it would look like. So I want you guys to put your imagination to the test and create your own underwater world. Lucky for you, I've made a nice example of what we're going to be doing today. So today we're going to be making a salt painting. So here you can see that we've got fishes, big fishes with checkered paddings on them. We've got small spiky fishes which have zigzag line patterns on them. I've even made a long skinny fish with small lines on it and then I've used tissue paper as the coral on the bottom and the sand and then in the background I've got some nice squiggles and some nice spiral shapes but before I get you guys to start on your very own salt painting we need to run through what we're going to need for today so you need to make sure you have a blank A3 piece of paper you have a palette for your paint you have some nice fluoro coloured paint also, we need some different coloured tissue paper, some different size brushes for different shapes and patterns we're going to be painting. You need a cup of water, you need some scissors, craft glue, your watercolour paints, which is very important. You're going to also use some glitter glue, salt, which is also very important, and a pencil to draw your fishies. So, I think that's it. Let us begin. So, first step, we have to create the background of our underwater world. This is where we're going to use different cool coloured water paints. So, some of you might know what cool colours are. Cool colours are colours that you might think of when you're cold, water, ice. So, that would be colours like light blue, dark blues, greens even. So, we're going to be using those colours today. Now with the salt painting, it's important that we work quickly with using lots of water and we sprinkle the salt on top while it's still wet. But I'll run through with you guys now. So first things first, I'm going to dip my big paintbrush into the water and I'm going to be using some blue colours and I'm going to put it all over my page. Now, while it's still wet, I'm going to do bit by bit, so I'm going to sprinkle the salt on, just normal table salt, I'm going to sprinkle it on top while it's time to dry because I don't want it to dry into the paper before I get to sprinkle the salt on, otherwise then it won't work. So once we've finished our background, we're going to have to sit it to the side and let it dry so the salt can sulk up all the water and make cool patterns on our page. As you can see here, I've used different cool colours. I've used dark blues, light blues, aquas, and I put it all over my page. So I'm going to put this to the side and then we can get started on something else in our underwater world while we wait. So the next step is we are going to draw our fishies. So I've just grabbed another blank piece of paper and I'm going to draw different shaped fishes. They can be long, they can be short, they can be fat, they can be spiky, they could be anything you guys want. They don't even have to be a fish, it could be a shark, it could be anything you guys want to put in your underwater world. So let's get started.
So here I've drawn my fish that I want to put in. So now we have to cut them out and then we get to paint them. So here are the fish shapes I came up with. I've got a long skinny fish, I've got a big fat mama fish, and I've got a little baby fish. Now remember, your guys' fish may be different shapes to mine, so don't feel the need to copy mine because I want you guys to put your imagination to the test. The next step is painting our fish. Woo! So I've decided that on this fish, I want to do, hmm, I want to do squiggly lines. So I'm going to pick a paint colour. I'm going to do it in pink, fluoro pink, and I'm going to squeeze a bit on my palette. I only use a little bit of paint because we don't want to waste it, remember? So I'm going to get to work. You guys get to work too. So here's my squealy line big fish and I did spots on this little baby fish and then on this long one I want to do some stripes. So you guys go ahead and do whatever you like to your fish and I'm going to finish mine off and I'm going to put some glitter on them, decorate them, put eyes on them and then we can create our underwater world. Using my craft glue, I'm going to stick these little googly eyes on all my painted fishies. So now that my three patterned fishes are painted and my background's dry, we're ready for the next step. So now we're going to take some yellow tissue paper and we're going to rip it up and stick it on our the bottom of our painting and use it as the ocean's floor. So let's get to it. You can see I put the sand on the bottom of our ocean world. So next I want you guys to come up with what you're going to put on the sea floor. So you can use different coloured tissue paper. I've got pink and orange and I'm going to see what I can come up with and make some coral up. I want you guys to do the same. Let's go. Now when you're sticking these things down, I want you guys to stick it on the glue and hold it down for a bit because we need to make sure it sticks and then it's not going to fall off later. Now I'll show you guys what my coral looks like. So I put like an orange piece of bow type coral and then I've got a pink down in the corner, little pink scrunched up balls of maybe shells or something. Now it's t the last step is to stick our fish or our animals or our creatures on to our painting. So let's go ahead and use the glue and do that. So 
So as you can see here, I've stuck my three fish on. I stuck a fish down the bottom in the coral, stuck one swimming in the middle, and then a big mummy one up in the corner. And now for the final thing, I'm gonna take this blue glitter glue and I'm gonna do some patterns showing the waves and motion in the background. That might be something like some long squiggles or some small big squiggles or maybe some swirls. Do a couple of swirls. There you have it. Now we're just going to put this outside to dry and I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see what you all come up with. Bye guys!